Big Al. W E F U N K. We funk. I guess on that. Now that I got you all worked <laughs> up, uh, we'll, we'll get you. We'll start to. We'll, we'll uh, uh, get into the main reason why I brought you on the show here, as I've teased uh, at the top. But uh, I had to get Ross's take on the Broadway sensation, <laughs> the once in a lifetime phenomenon, our generation's uh, West Side Story, if you will. <laughs> But the uh, epic, <laughs> but the epic Broadway smash that was Hamilton, of course, with the uh, big Coronaville release here on Fourth of July weekend. Uh, of course, a year early on Disney Plus due to all the uh, coronavirus shenanigans and whatnot. But I guess before I get Ross's take, I'll give you. I'll, I'll, I'm going to start. I guess I'll throw out my main uh, my my. Uh, 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 thesis statement of this whole uh, of this whole show I'd say but basically all I'm saying about Hamilton vastly overrated all right uh, basically just not worth all of the hubbub okay is my first point okay second point and uh, another, you know one of the other big reasons why I'm getting Ross on but I believe that in a lot of ways it's uh, so overrated by people that have uh, ignorantly refused to acknowledge hip hop as an amazing uh, art form for the last 30 plus years and now Hamilton now Lin Manuel Manuel uh, 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 does it on Broadway and everybody oh hip hop it's so amazing how he rhymed all the words to a beat and said it so fast without messing up. It's amazing. Yeah, you, Liam, you fucking you couldn't have nailed it any harder. Like, um, like obviously, like that's I think why it's such a sensation because literally an entire genre of music that people were ignoring forever that everyone knew that listened to it was fucking awesome. Yeah. All of a sudden, now these people are like, wow, this exists. <laughs> yeah. And because so, just real quick about the show itself, because, Ross, we did obviously watch the, uh, the Disney Plus thing. But just in terms of Broadway productions, okay, like if you're going to talk theater, there's a couple different elements. There's the music. Then there's like the stage design and all that yeah, kind of set sets. Or whatever. There was yeah. no stage or sets going on in this movie compared yeah, to other do. sensations like <laughs> The Lion King or fucking even this year, uh, uh, like Network. <laughs> Or like uh, even Oklahoma, big shout out to Ali Stroker uh, from Ridgewood, but uh, uh, Oklahoma on Broadway <laughs> had like you know, a really unique set and like you know stage design and production that was at least interesting. Uh, uh, Hamilton offered nothing by way of any of that stuff. Okay, in terms of da and the other big part about Broadway, but hilariously cheesy big dancing and choreography numbers, <laughs> nothing going down in Hamilton. All right, I was expecting. The goofy, them all using their muskets as batons. Oh, dude, to dude, first off, <laughs> I've, got, I've got something to say. Running about that. sideways <laughs> across the stage. With their... <laughs> dude, all right. First off, uh, um, funny that you bring up the muskets because, all right. Well, uh, first off, let me say I don't know if I'm more embarrassed that I watched Hamilton or that I actually had an active subscription to Disney Plus going into this. <laughs> number one, number one. That when you call, I know <laughs> I was so shocked. You literally were like, "I have Disney Plus." I was like, "Did you forget the sarcastic quotes or where, where are we yeah. going with that text?" Do you? <laughs> so, so that one scene where the guy, like the obviously, what's hilarious about plays is like obviously like ninety five percent of the dudes are just flamboyant and gay, which is fine, but they are. So when the guys are dancing in unison with the muskets as dressed as the British soldiers, I was like, I put myself in like the Revolutionary War as like an American soldier. And I was like, I would be so fucking intimidated if the opposite if this side were, were is fucking... The like reloading in unison with like little dance twirl flamboyant games. These are some like, experienced like, oh, soldiers for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, this ain't yeah. their first rodeo. These guys yeah. are literally <laughs> like these gay dudes are gonna beat our ass. Like we, we are totally. <laughs> they're gonna enjoy the shit out of it as well. Like, <laughs> um, also, I've never seen something where like I thought an hour of time has passed and when I check only 15 minutes of actual time has passed <laughs> I know that's another part of this the fucking three hours of rap music like Jesus yeah, Christ dude. like if I listen to Biggie Jay-Z and Nas I'm gonna get bored and wanna fucking right, let me put some TV on for a little I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll watch an episode of In the Shadows and uh, get back to the gratuitous violence of... <clears throat> but three also... hours of hip hop I mean Jesus Christ it's also well I love that it's a movie yet they they had a cunty intermission 
Like everybody gives a fuck. <laughs> like <laughs> seriously. Like you really need to give us an. I'm gonna press pause and take a piss on my own. Thank you very much, <laughs> Disney Plus. Right. Let's not stretch this out anymore, <laughs> for the for, for but, the love of God. But, but to, all right. So to, to break down Hamilton more, I oh, look. It wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought I, I thought all right. Obviously, the guy knows rap. He wouldn't have been able to write a play like that if he had if he had like a shitty nerdy rap background. Like there was a couple yeah, no. shout outs to Biggie. There was a prodigy That's true. line. A lot of uh, them that, did. Yeah, a lot of the songs uh, uh, totally lost upon the entire uh, viewing yeah. audience of this movie. Yeah. <laughs> but a lot <laughs> t- totally lost to all the moms out there that fucking loved this one. <laughs> but a lot of them were started. Uh, a lot of the verses were you know started off the same way that famous rap and hip hop verses were started off and whatnot. A lot of shout outs to rap. And yeah, he's definitely a rap fan. Like, are you great? Yeah, you yeah, watch like, like, you can t- like I was worried it was gonna be like campy ass like. Like fucking like what like my dad would write for like a rap song, <laughs> but it wasn't. It was like legitimately yeah. good. Like, oh, sure. It was very well written. He's like, a very he mediocre level <laughs> hip hop artist, I would say. That little Dicky style, like so, like chose a specific thing to go about, and it's not even like the storytelling and uh, uh, even like you know improv, like because uh, uh, I guess this project kind of started off. With uh, Lin Manuel, uh, Lin Manuel Miranda, <laughs> whatever the fuck his name is, <laughs> but uh, uh, he had the hip, uh, freestyle Love Supreme whole thing. So like to before long before this, and then uh, yeah, and then of course in the Heights was like a more traditional Broadway smash, and then this one getting back to more like his uh, uh, rap roots. But uh, you know even like the uh, uh, MTV when hip hop was popular in the '90s had the lyricist lounge show TV yeah, yeah. show. Which was like and improv based, yeah. Like there was a lot of like this is an uh, a very old school traditional part of hip hop as an art form is like the specific storytelling angle. You know what I mean? He did it for three hours, <laughs> not six <laughs> minutes. This should have been the fucking uh, ten minute Weird Al polka version, or like a little Dicky version would have been perfect. You know what I mean? Like wow, it was amazing. He told the story of Hamilton, <laughs> but three hours and like again, yeah, most dude. of my burn here is like the mass hysteria around it where because it got exactly. more tweaks like, than <laughs> any other play it's all of a sudden now like $1,200 a ticket and you know it's become, because I as well did see, I guess the other one that we're going to go comparable to would be Book of Mormon, which I don't know, did you happen to see Book of Mormon? Because I, I did. never did, I actually okay. wanted to see it, and but it was I amazing. never did. And all sorts of amazing production just South Park style crazy songs, but on stage <laughs> with fucking hilarious <laughs> shit going on all over the place like that's what, you know what I mean, and I was but th- that's where the bar gets set for like a musical comedy like this this was just a fucking hip hop performance you know yeah, what I mean? There was comedy. no I other. Think this was supposed to be a comedy. No, well, not even comedy, but just like in terms of a theatrical performance. There was no yeah. other like th- theater to this other than the music. You know, it was great yeah, yeah, music, was great the lyrics, they were but the, the other elements the of, of production were totally non there. Whereas in Book of Mormon, there was amazing dance choreography. The fucking sets and shit were interesting and fun and like, you know, uh, totally in theme with the production that you're watching or whatnot. Hamilton was just fucking, you know what I mean? Like we've said, we've seen it all before. And I think a lot of it kind of reminds me of like uh, uh, people that say that they don't like the end. NBA, but love college basketball. Oh, God, Those yeah. assholes. I kind of get the you. same vibe with this, where it's just like people oh, that I have never, people. the people that have always looked down their nose at hip hop. Oh, I love now it. All like, sudden, for the love of the game, money's yeah. ruined the NBA. They don't play defense. Like, yeah, well, they can't guard the best players in the yeah. world, too. Like, my, whoops. <laughs> Oh look, a guy They're hit not a free really throw. Doing... It's not college basketball. Oh. <laughs> I'm fucking. But I feel there's a, a potentially a little bit of a, a racial element there. You know, like an Obama Dude. speaks so well kind of thing going on where it's just like you're giving him credit for something that's a uh, uh, credit has long over. It's like granted for half the for a lot of people like me and Ross. That yeah, grew up he's, with he's reaping. He's reaping the credit that, you know, fucking Wu-Tang, Biggie, fucking Nas, uh, Warren G, Snoop, Dre all deserve this notoriety. Yeah, that he's for getting sure. now because white people are finally not racist enough to just turn a blind eye to it because it was on Broadway. Yeah, yeah. 
That's exactly what happened. And <laughs> <laughs> but dude, anyway, I will. I mean, say, should they do a uh, should they do a, a, a rap of the ages style uh, a theater production like that gay show uh, a Rock of Ages where they get all of the they get a, a, a theatrical biggie out there to belt out juicy with a chorus yeah, no, line? No, no, they shouldn't. They shouldn't do that yeah, at all. No. <laughs> Because, you know, again, the whole point of rap kind of wasn't, was the exact opposite of this play. It wasn't, I mean, I guess when you're in the arts, you're in the arts, but like it wasn't, it wasn't supposed to be, I'm fucking bopping and booping about a historical white guy on a stage <laughs> on Broadway. Yeah. It was just, a, you know, it was a way to vent or whatever. I'm not even going to say what it was. Yeah, but anyway, but... the, I mean, the, we could get into your a... favorite. Huh? Right, hold on, I got, I got a question. One, well, one, I got to bring up the guy who invented it and played Hamilton is ugly, and uh, <laughs> he shouldn't have been Hamilton, and he's not really a good actor, and his eyes look like testicles. Uh, <laughs> but besides that guy, writing him himself as the lead role, which is hilarious. I mean, I'm he's sure he's much worse in In the Heights, where it's like a romantic <laughs> fucking production, and you know what I mean, like a more traditional. Because at least this one, you can give him the credit. Like, all right, you wrote all the raps, you get to say him, you know. Yeah, I know. Like, you know, you could give that fucking credit. Like, I guess Spike Lee did it with movies. It's not like Flav of Flav was a fucking good-looking guy, you know what I mean? We can, uh... uh... Yeah, yeah, he was also in a group called Public Enemy. (laughs) Um, So, uh, but the other thing is, who was your favorite character? Because mine was the... Not the woman he married, but her older sister. I thought she was the best in the, in the entire show. Okay, She was fucking blazing as hell, too. I mean, was was he banging both of them, by the way? He was, I don't know right? what they like, were insinuating. I don't think they were. I think she I was think like, he was. we love you too, was... but we can't. We can't do it because my sister and her happiness comes first. I mean, it might I'm be controversial, but I'm a big Aaron Burr fan, I would say. I, uh... <laughs> Dude, you know what's hilarious? Mainly last just on the... His... Last time I took mushrooms, I ended up at the Burr Hamilton Memorial. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> you were telling me you had a major spoiler going into this movie because you already knew how it ended. Much like oh, me yeah. that forgot to uh, pay attention in, in school growing up and was shocked by the... Wait a minute, no, he no, got no, shot no. by... I remember no, this no. one actually. Do you remember from the milk commercial when we were kids? The Burr. The Burr. The Burr. The Burr. The Burr. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where the, yeah. The, the radio question was asked and the guy had mil- uh, peanut like butter in his mouth. Bur- yeah, and he couldn't. <laughs> so I knew this one. I, I, was, uh, I was ahead of you here. If I can... Also, you, while, you, the, you, while the king. While you were the king tripping, of... but, but you were tripping mushrooms and wee hawking and wound up at the <laughs> historical at the Bur- Tom the, Hamilton, at, at, uh, Alexander yeah, Hamilton. At the, at, the, at the Burr Hamilton Memorial, where Hamilton <laughs> and apparently his son also died because they both shot into the air. <laughs> Good move, guys. Like, when your son dies a week before you, shooting a bullet into the air instead of at the guy he's doing with, and then you, and then dies, and then you do the same thing, and then die. Probably That's should have learned your lesson. <laughs> I mean, he was trying to go out like his pops, you know? Uh... No, but he didn't have a father who hardly fathered. Oh, oh, oh. Big out! W-E-F-U-N-K. We funk.